Hello everyone, in honor of this being Thanksgiving week in the United States, I am taking a break this week, but the podcast will be back next Wednesday, December 4th. It would be a great time to take a chance to catch up on all of those episodes that you may have missed. We have over a hundred episodes that you can go back and listen to and just be assured that I am working on many more new episodes that will be coming out. I also wanted to take this time to highlight a couple of other things that I do that you may not be aware of. One of these is the Traveling Rainbow Skirt. This is called Project Finding Your Rainbow. This is a rainbow skirt that travels around from one lost family to the next, and they take pictures with the skirt. This can be using a professional photographer or just doing the pictures yourself, and then the pictures and the stories are shared. And the whole point of this is to help raise more awareness for pregnancy and infant loss. And it also helps give people a platform to share their story. You do not have to be pregnant to participate and you do not have to have a rainbow baby. It is for anyone who has been through any kind of loss from embryo loss to miscarriage, ectopic pregnancy, stillbirth, neonatal loss, infant loss, any kind of loss. And I know that I didn't even name all of them. If you're interested in participating in this, you can always go to journeyforjasmine.com. There you can find out information about how to participate. And you can also read all of the Rainbow Square stories. As of right now, there has been 450 stories published. This has been in 49 U.S. states and several other countries. These countries include Canada, the UK, Peru, Australia, New Zealand, and Germany. I think I said them all. But if you, like I said, if you're interested in participating, you can just go check it out there. If you're in a country that has not been listed, I would still love to talk to you to see about how to get a skirt sent over there because that is my dream is to get it to, you know, as many different countries and places as possible to help as many different people as possible share their stories. Also, if you are not familiar, I also have an Etsy shop where I make custom bracelets and keychains. They have different beads on them and each bead represents a different part of your journey. So for instance, there's a bead for miscarriage, for stillbirth, for early loss, late loss, for preeclampsia, for different kinds of infertility, just so many different ones. There's over 30 different ones. Each one is unique because each of our journeys is unique. So if you're interested, you can go check that out at the Journey for Jasmine Etsy shop. And then the last thing that I wanted to touch on, this is still kind of a work in progress, but I am going to be coming out with something similar to Project Finding Your Rainbow, but it is aimed for people that have gone through infertility. This is people who have gone through infertility, whether they have had a loss or not had a loss, because there are many people that do go through that side of the struggle that do have a loss. But there are also many people that go through infertility that don't ever experience the loss side of things. So I wanted to do something that would highlight the infertility stories. And there will be something that will be available to travel around just like the rainbow skirt. It'll just be something different. So I'm trying to still work out all of the details on this. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. You can always follow along on social media That's usually where I first post things, and that is Journey for Jasmine on pretty much all of them. And then lastly, I am always, like I said, working on more episodes for the podcast. If you are ever interested in being a part of that, there is several ways that you can do that. The first thing is being a guest. I have lots of individual episodes, and then I also have several group episodes I'm working on. So if you're ever interested in that, you can always email me, sarah at journeyforjasmine.com and let me know what you would be interested in talking about and whether you would rather do an individual episode or a group episode. 
Also, if you have a business or organization created by either a loss or infertility parent or something that helps loss or infertility families and you would like to be part of the business and organization spotlight, feel free to email me or reach out on my social media about more information for that. I'm always happy to help highlight those businesses and organizations that you have started. And this can be anything. It can be a book you've written. It can be something you create, just open-ended. And then finally, the last segment that I am still working on adding in is just a five-minute little chat. And this can be chatting about anything that you want to chat about. It can be loss-related or not loss-related. But if you are ever interested in doing that, again, just contact me and we can get something set up. So yeah, I have a lot of things that are kind of going on. I stay pretty busy, but I am always trying to be available to all of you. I always want to know that you can always reach out to me. Sometimes it may take me a little bit to respond, but I always do try to respond to each and every message. And I just want you to know that you taking the time to listen to these episodes and to help support the podcast is just, it really means a lot to me. If you are looking to further support the podcast, the best thing you can do is to share the episodes, share the podcast, leave a review or a rating on Apple or Spotify. Spotify is just a star rating. Apple, you can leave a star rating or a review, and they all really help the podcast get out in front of more people. So again, I just appreciate all of your support. And if you're ever interested in being involved in any of the things that I mentioned, you can always reach out to me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving if you are in the U.S. And remember that we are all in this together.